Hello, I'm Miss Cara, and this is Miss Cara Plays Sleepy Time Music. A special hello to all of you who are returning to hear more stories from the music and to relax with sleepy time music with me. Today I have a piece of music by a composer who's a little bit of a mystery. T, the initial T, La Tour. If you do research to find out more about T. Latour, you will find some conflicting things. What we know is that this person lived in the 1800s, at the classical era, the, the late classical era, in the United States and had a few works published. Some people think that the name is Theodore Latour. There was a painter in France named Theodore Latour at the same time. It's possible that this person uh, came over to America and had some music published, was also a musician. Could be a different person named Theodore Latour. Something you'll find in other places is that this name is the middle name Taton for Jean Taton Latour, a Frenchman. And Possibly Teton was a name that was thought to be a little strange here in America and that this person maybe changed his name to Theodore later, Americanized his name, and in any case just put T so there wouldn't be much confusion. Another possibility that we have to consider is that there were women who were music teachers who were publishing low intermediate pieces of classical music because they were teaching and they needed to make that things for their students and they were trying to sell their music and women had a very hard time being taken seriously back then as musicians and as teachers so often when they published they would just put an initial so maybe this is even isn't Theodore or Taton maybe this was a woman Teresa Latour we just don't know what we know is that the initial was T and that a lot of the other things that we see surrounding it are suppositions as to who this person was. So what we have is that a few pieces that were published by T. Latour are very lovely, melodic pieces of music. The melody is that part that's easy to sing because it has a nice singable melody. This is from a sonata and sonatas usually have three parts. They have a fast part, a slow part in the middle, and then a very fast part at the end. And this is that slow, gentle part in the middle. Sometimes these were called romances because the center is the heart of the piece. And this one is called a pastoral, which means it's like a pasture. It's calm and pretty and outdoors. And what these things have in common is what's called an Alberti bass in the left hand. Let me adjust this a little bit so you can see the left hand a little better. is the melody. You hear that surprise? That I think that's a bird call. And that's how I have pictures of birds. I have these two love birds on a branch, an oriental, and this very fancy peacock with a necklace on. A silly picture of a bird. I think that's something we have from the music. And like a bird call that kind of surprises us, but it's very pretty, one of the surprises is that we have this, this C. When we hear it in the bird call, it's a C sharp. In 
instead of being the natural that's part of the relaxing bass line. So that gives us a little surprise of something bright and happy. And so that's maybe a bird call. We have to think the pastoral usually meant a day outdoors, sometimes in a field, under a tree, in the sunshine, maybe by a stream. And there's a, a part in the center of this that gets much more fun, maybe from different parts of the field. You know the way birds do that, they call back and forth. It could be something different. Maybe it's not a person or an animal. Maybe this represents the stream that's flowing along and then maybe these repeated notes. Maybe that's the stream flowing over rocks and burbling over rocks. about the stories that the music tells you is every musician can have a different mental picture. So these are just the ways that I see the music and maybe you've thought of something that these things could be. Maybe that represents something to you that I haven't even thought of and that's right too. And so now all of these images from the music, the one thing we know that the composer meant is a pastoral. So we know he meant this to be an outdoor scene. That's the one thing we know for sure because he told us that in the name. But everything else is for us to imagine on this lovely day outdoors. So now you can lie back and close your eyes and snuggle up and imagine your own lovely day outdoors.
sweet dreams. <laughs>